Welcome to Revenue Quest. My name is Brian, and I am here to turn $100 into a million dollar business. Currently, our only sources of income is reselling. And uh, this, this particular video will take you on a tour of what it's like to be a small reseller with only one item a day hosting. Stay tuned for sales. Mm, I don't know. Just, just roll the intro. Just roll the intro. Just roll it. There are different uh, things that you have to do as a reseller. You have to go source. That's probably most important. You got to go to thrift stores, garage sales, um, also flea markets, pawn shops. There's many sourcing opportunities out there. Second thing after your source is listing, you have to list. You got to put it on eBay or a different website, Macari, Poshmark. I haven't really used those. I'm primarily focused on eBay right now. Um, after listing, you get a sale. You have to process that sale, track that sale, and you have to um, ship that sale. You got to pack it all up and take it to the post office. Yeah, so in this video, you will see the process from the sale after um, there are plenty of videos that i have of sourcing you can check out this one this video right here that shows my biggest haul ever at a thrift store spent a lot of money on that more money than i even started this challenge more than this hundred dollars check it out So it looks like something happened. I got another sale. Boom shakalaka. Today is uh, June 3rd. What is that? Day 64. Day 64. That's where we're at. Got another sale. Not bad. Not bad. Um, total of two sales so far this month. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Today, I sold Hulk versus Thor and Wolverine. Good movie, Blu-ray. I bought that three weeks ago for $5. Um, I had listed it for $27.99, but we negotiated and went back and forth last night really late, like 12 o'clock. Um, and so I went down to $20.50 since it was a, um, promoted listing, the 50 cents pretty much covers that. So nah, not too bad. Um, I think I'll, I'll make around $12 just about. We'll see. I haven't finalized everything. Um, I'll probably go through that in a minute after I have updated it. But wanted to show that I got a sale. Got a sale. Bam, chocolate. Bye-bye. All right, so we will go through this real quick. Um, I'm screen recording here so you can see it better. Um, yeah, so the Hulk, Hulk versus Blu-ray, right, that I got. So I bought it on 516, uh, day 46, bought it for $5, uh, my estimate was 20, I listed it for $27.99, so my potential profit was between 15 and 22. Um, so I had total sales of $26.63, minus $2 for taxes, so my gross sales was $24.63. Um, and then I have to take out the shipping label for $4.13 and eBay fees of $5.13. So my net sales, that's coming back to my account, is $15.37. Um, minus cost of goods, so my gross profit was $10.37. And minus shipping supply cost, $0.82. Cents. Um, so my net profit is $9.55. Which is a little bit lower than what I want. I want at least $10. I want to be more closer to the $15 to $20 range. But what I usually do, the first person to reach out to me 
is the person that I will give the most discount to. Um, yeah, because I feel like if you're going to come at me in two days and say, hey, I, I want this, um, can you go down? I'm like, okay, well, yeah, it's just something that's fair. As long as I'm making, you know, close to what I need to make to be, you know, a profitable business, I'm not going to go down by half. But I'll go down 20 30% because I already put, you know, profit into into the amount uh, that I listed for. So, yeah, if you want something from me, come, come at me quick and I will make sure that you get it. Um, but, you know, if that didn't go through and they want it for less, then they will not get it for less. Yeah, because the next person I would have not gone down that low, I would have sticked at like 24 at the lowest. Um, I don't know, I think that's fair, you know. You're the first person to come at me, I'll give you a little bit of a discount. So, stop screen sharing. Okay, great. So I'm going to uh, ship this buddy out. Ship this buddy out. Hulk versus. And um, hopefully that person enjoys it. And I have, um, yeah, not much going on. Except a whole bunch of exciting stuff going on behind the scenes that I can't tell you about and I won't tell you about for a minute couple 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 months probably uh, but things are looking looking up for the channel for for me for my business yeah I got some exciting things in the works um, yeah some pretty exciting stuff just need to keep selling keep pushing through keep uh keep get keep keep on keeping on and uh, I think that this will be a million dollar business sooner than people will expect. Sooner than I might expect. Um, I mean, it's still going to take some time. It's not going to be tomorrow. You know, it's going to be a couple years. But it's going to be a lot faster. Yeah, a lot faster. You know, I, hear, I heard this quote that... Um, people mostly overestimate what they can do in the short term, but they underestimate what they can do in the long term. And uh yeah, I think I think that's that's pretty true. No, I think I just think um sometimes I'm really good at planning stuff and a lot of the times what I plan actually happens. And I'm getting to that point where as I I age and I'm just not as surprised <laughs> like I have this plan I set it forth and it actually works and because it's worked so many times in the past it's like yes it's gonna work this time yeah and I believe it I mean that that's what happened in, in everything I've tried to do in the past like me moving from Florida to Las Vegas was a big gamble a big risk um, but I had planned you know, like three years of my life, and it almost went exactly what I thought it was going to go. It actually went a little bit faster than I thought it was going to be. I don't know. I, th I just think um, sometimes if you, you plan well and you execute well, like you're going to be successful. And that's the one thing that you can control. You can control what you want to do. Like you can control, you can prepare yourself for success. That's what I'm saying. You can accomplish anything that you set your mind to as long as you put in the work, you have a great plan, uh, you prepare for it however best you can. So like say you have a five year goal, you want to do this thing that you feel is impossible. What can you do in, in the next three months? What can you do in the next year? What can you do in the next two years to try to get to that goal? What experience do you need now that could help you achieve that goal later? You know, maybe you just graduated college, right? And you want to be a doctor. Okay, well, you know that you have to go to, to medical school to be a doctor, okay? What is it in medical school, medical school that you need to know to be successful in medical school, okay? You need to make sure you know anatomy, right? You need to make sure you know medications or whatever, right? 
And so in the short term, you know what your goal is. And in the long term, you know what your goal is. And in the immediate short term, you can try to prepare for that short term goal. And then that will in, in fact help you with your longer term goal. And I think, I think that's what I do well, is I manage expectations. I try not to be too crazy, too, too extreme, you know, like, um, I don't overestimate too much and I also don't underestimate too much. And from my past experience, uh, it's proved to be true. But I'm only one person and I have privileges that others don't. And I have, you know, skills that others don't. So, you know, this is just my personal experience. But I feel like if you can plan well and you can ex execute well, then there's nothing that's going to stop you from achieving your goals. And life's too short, so you might as well try anyways, even if you fail. So what? Like, I failed to be a professional wrestler. I did it for six weeks until I got injured. I got a concussion. And um, that stopped me from doing it because I didn't like how that concussion affected me personally. Um, I was okay at it. I mean... I was still out of shape, right? Whatever. There's only so much I could do. I did lose weight in that time frame that I was training before I, I was trying to be a wrestler, but it was something that I always wanted to do. Um, and so I did it. I failed, okay? But I overcame that failure. And now I do improv. So that's something that I watched when since I was a kid. So it was another thing, another creative outlet that I wanted to do. And so I did it. And I'm two years into that, two and a half years almost. I think it's turning out pretty good. And we will see where that goes. Um, so, if there's something you want to do in life, at least you try for it. Because what's the harm? You'll get life experience or you get a cool story in the end of the day. Yeah, what else you can do? Life's too short, you know. Just do it. Be like Nike. Just just do it. I think I've rambled on long enough. Have a great day, everybody. Bye bye. Good morning, everybody. We're uh, in the beginning of month three. I think June 7th today. Yeah, June 7th, so day 68. So I think it's uh, story time with Revenue Quest. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So last night, when I got home after work, I uh, got an offer for a uh, some some hair curlers yeah that I bought all the way back in like episode one I think um replay rewind now this one I kind of took, took a took a risk on this one uh, it's hair curlers um little hair curlers now I got it for ten dollars ten dollars I could get twenty five figured I need to get more items so I was taking a risk on this one at least double for me they gave me an offer of eighteen. I had it listed, I think, at that point at $22.49. It's been sitting for a while, so I discounted it. I think my original price was $24.99. So they offered me $18. I bought it for $9. So, well, $9.99, so $10. Yeah, it was like the first thing I bought. It was probably not like, the best purchase, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so 
Um, they had offered me like right before I was going to improv. Yeah, so last night is Thursday, and the uh, Thursdays are improv night. Bleach, bleachimprov.com. I think that's their website. Uh, Mom'sBasementTheater.com. If you're interested, if you want to see some improv in Las Vegas? That's the best group around. Bleach. So yeah, so I was just just going like just about to leave, and they offered me 18. I'm like, okay. Um, I was trying to get ready and stuff. And then uh, I countered at 20. And so uh, I went and left, went to the improv. By the time I got there, they had accepted. So, so it sold. At $20 minus uh, fees, I think it was like $4 or four something. I got like $15.88. But with my cost of goods being $9.99, I'm, and another dollar for like you know the box and stuff. I only made like four dollars and eighty-five cents. I think it was. It'll be right here. Yeah, so it wasn't a big, a big winner. But at least I got a sale. And uh, with that sale, and the last sale, the Hulk sale, the Hulk movie sale. Um, I'm positive in cash now. I got seventeen bucks, I think. So I got some some cash. I'm gonna wait for a couple more sales before I go sourcing in, but it's better to be in the positive than in the negative. True story. I'm he I'm heading to work right now. Gotta go to work. It's Friday. Good old go to work. But before I do, I'm gonna drop off. Drop off this uh, these hair curlers. A good old post office. A good old post office. Yay! I made it to the post office. I'm so excited to go to the post office. Camera's moving all around a little bit. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't move too much. It's a good old post office. Big bump. Oh boop. Oh boop. Oh boop. Oh boop. Oh boop. Yep, you can see the post office right next to me. Gonna go to the post office. Drop off this package at the post office. Oh no, oh no. Okay, so I uh, dropped off the package at the post office. Now it's uh, now it's time to get to work. Let's get in the work mood. Aw oh, man. Nope. Oh. That would probably get me copyrighted. Yeah, this song is acceptable. Thank you, Netflix. You guys are great too. You're never gonna make it. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different and you must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're irresponsible. Too many obstacles. You gotta stop it though. You gotta take it slow. You can't be your reason because you want the power as long as you're trying to make it. It's motivation. Can I take that? Take Alright. Time to actually go to work. Goodbye, everybody. Bonjour. Bleu pitié. So I just, um, going home after work, and I just wanted to mention something real quick. Um, I got my uh, first positive feedback on, on eBay. Yeah, so one of the items, the, the Hulk DVD that I sent out, yeah, there was a comment, um, feedback, and, uh, they said I did a great job, and like um, the, the main thing was that I handled the package with care, and it's exactly what they were looking for. So uh, when I saw that, I was I was at work when I saw it, but I was like, wow, you know, I'm actually, you know, I'm making an impact, you know, to someone. So I found something that um, I saw value in, and I was able to provide it to somebody, you know, at a, at a decent price I was able to provide it to them 
and uh, they really, you know, wanted it and appreciated it. So that's uh, a benefit of doing this. You know, you're providing a service to to people out in the world, and you can actually, like, you know, make a difference. I guess. I don't know. I just thought, I just thought it was cool to get that feedback, and I wanted to share it with everybody because. Uh, the last uh, month was a little little rough. I always saw that in one of those videos. There's going to be both good and bad that comes out of anything. And you might as well highlight the good and highlight the bad. Because uh, it's part of life. It's always going to be good and bad things that happen. But if you uh, get good feedback, you know, try to keep doing that. But if you get bad feedback, try to change, overcome whatever it is that, that people were saying on the negative feedback. It's all a learning process. If you're getting good feedback, then you're doing a good job. Keep it, keep it going. Now I'm going to go home. Bye-bye. So a typical week uh, doing reselling is a lot of uh, sitting and waiting. That's that's a lot of the reselling game. All the work is front-loaded. You, you do all the work in the beginning. And then you just wait for people to buy your stuff. Hopefully you got good stuff at, when you sourced. And it allows for the sale to be faster, better, and higher profit. So that's uh, basically what it's like. I'm enjoying it so far, but there are definitely other things, bigger and better things, coming down the pipeline. We're not there yet, not even close. But six months from now, I think this is going to be a very, very different channel. And doing a lot of very, very different things. But business, building businesses is a process. And you can't just go from zero to 100 overnight. It doesn't happen. There's a lot of work that takes place. And you have to build up to it. So with the money that we do have, we'll continue to comp compound it doing reselling. And then we'll move forward and, and add other ventures to the business. We'll add more sources of revenue. We will quest for more revenue sources. Yeah, I don't know. But we're we're edging closer and closer. Closer and closer. We're definitely close to two thousand dollars of potential value. Um, but I mean current value, we're almost we're almost at the break even point. Um, our assets probably equal more than our liabilities. Actually I definitely know that to be true. I think we're close to the point where we're at a hundred dollar original value. We're in between there. I will I'll show you that in the financials for the end of June. When we when we get there. We're still a couple weeks away. If you have any questions about anything, I have one more thing to say. Uh I will mention it more in the next episode. But there's a link below for my uh, spreadsheet that I use for, for reselling. If you want, it's there. I'll talk more about it in the next one. And if you don't mind those portion of the audience that are not subscribed, could you do me a favor and like click that subscribe button? Please, pretty please, with the cherry on top. Really will help out this channel grow. The more subscribers, the more opportunities for growth. So if you could do that for me, I would uh, definitely appreciate it. And for all you subscribers that have uh, been watching my content, I really do appreciate every single one of you. And if you need anything from me, um, I'm in the comment section below. Or you can email me. Um, I can maybe post it here. It's also in the... the on the YouTube channel with any questions anything you guys need um, I'm trying to build a community here on YouTube uh, not just for me but for anybody who needs the knowledge that I have because I do have some knowledge but that's enough for this video have a good day everybody. goodbye